Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna talk about Cat7 Ethernet cables. And this video is sponsored by Olite, a global company that produces high quality EDC flashlights of all shapes and sizes. These flashlights can be used for home, office, outdoors, recreational, or tactical. These flashlights are made of high quality material, and this one has a laser pointer and a flashlight. And all these flashlights are rechargeable with a provided USB cable, which means no more buying batteries. We use these flashlights when working in our attic, in our garage, outdoors, camping, even when rewiring our network panel. These are quite portable, durable, and lightweight. Make sure to check out their store in our link in the description below. There's a Black Friday sale going on with lots of great deals. And now back to the program. So in this video, we'll go over Cat7, the specs, pros and cons, we'll compare it to Cat6 cable, and we're gonna install this in our network panel, connecting our fiber ONT to our wireless router. And before we install the Cat7, we're gonna test our network speeds on our computer, and then we'll retest our speeds again after the Cat7 installation and see if there's any difference in speed. And the results might surprise you. So first, we're gonna go over the specs and the pros and cons of Cat7. So let's go over the pros first. First of all, Cat7 has minimal noise and crosstalk. And Cat7 is more durable, so it lasts longer. Also, Cat7 is backwards compatible. And Cat7 offers higher bandwidth at 600 megahertz. And the best part about Cat7, it supports 10 gigabits per second and even 40 gigabits per second under 50 meters. And in some cases, 100 gigabits per second. And Cat7 will definitely future-proof your home or business. Now let's go over the cons of Cat7. Cat7 is mainly suited for business or professional spaces. Cat7 is also very expensive compared to Cat6 or Cat5e. And if you didn't know, Cat7 is not officially recognized by the TIA EIA. And Cat7 is hard to install because of the thickness and rigidity of the cable. And one more downside to Cat7 is Cat8 is available now and is recognized by TIA EIA. And Cat8's bandwidth is 2000 megahertz at 30 meters, which is great for short distances. However, at longer distances, Cat7 is a better choice. A few more things you need to know about Cat7 is they do not use the typical RJ45 connectors. Cat7 uses Gigagate 45, also known as GG45 connectors. And Cat7 is recommended for businesses that run multiple applications at the same time. However, Cat7 is not recommended for home use, but today we're gonna install it anyways. And I wanna see if Cat7 makes a difference with our speeds. And just a heads up, we have one gig fiber from our ISP and we get 940 megabits per second up and down. So now let's go and do a speed test before we install this. Okay, we tested our speed with the Cat6 cable here. Now it's time to install the Cat7 and then we'll retest our speed. This is our fiber ONT. It's kind of like a modem, but it's not a modem. If you're a fiber guy, don't correct me in the video. I know it's an ONT. So we're gonna connect the Cat7 from the ONT to the WAN port on the router. Then we'll test and see if it makes a difference or not. There, and then we'll show you here. Plug that in. And we don't need this, so let's go ahead and get rid of this. Go on here if I want, make it look a little, a little prettier. Like that. Bam. Comparing Cat7 cable to Cat6 cable, Cat6 gets one gig speeds on the 250 megahertz band. Cat6 cables can get up to 10 gigs per second with Cat6A. Regular Cat6 cable, like riser cable, gets one gigabits per second. Cat6A cable has 500 megahertz of bandwidth, while regular Cat6 cable, riser cable, has 250 megahertz of bandwidth. And once again, Cat7 has 600 megahertz of bandwidth. So going from Cat6A to Cat7 is a minimal difference. And Cat6A and Cat7 are both difficult to install because they are thick and rigid. However, Cat6 riser cable, regular Cat6, is relatively easy to install and very flexible. Well, after doing our speed test, we saw a minimal difference in speed. We did get more speed from the Cat7 cable than the Cat6 cable, but it was minimal. And we tested several different times and the results were the same, but there was a speed difference. So Cat7 does make a difference. Even if it's minimal, it does make a difference. I'm not saying you should run Cat7 in your home because you probably don't need it. Cat6 cable will do just fine. And at the most, Cat6A. But Cat7 cable is pretty awesome and it does make a difference. We proved it. So guys, remember, like, share, and subscribe. And for God's sake, hit the bell icon. And I'll catch you in the next video real soon. Peace. And then we'll retest the network speeds again after we install. <laughs>